What up, though, everybody? So, apparently, Nick Wright has some choice words to say about the Lions and their recent their recent success so far this year, and specifically about a certain player on our team. And we about to hear it, and I'm going to get my reaction. Like, comment, subscribe for more. In the top end of it to the best it's ever been in the history of football. I don't think you can be the best team in the league when you have a civilian at quarterback. Come on. Hold on. I know you're going to get mad. Just wait. Just wait. I think that you the he Jared Goff is great when he's protected, but has a game like last week in it. He has it in it. And when you're going to be – and the whole NFC, by the way, might have civilians at quarterbacks if, if Stafford doesn't get back to old Stafford. All the superheroes play in the AFC. You saw two of them play last night. I think you saw two of them play in the afternoon. Lamar, you know what I mean? 29 out of 30 times is that guy. The, those guys. I can't say this team with Jared Goff at quarterback is better than the Chiefs or the Bills. I can't. I won't. And so I, I think they're the best team in their conference right now. I think they're a good bet to make the Super Bowl. And they don't have, any, they don't have to beat any of those superheroes at quarterbacks in the, in the playoffs. But... No, in the modern NFL, I think it's very, very difficult to win three straight playoff games with a, a guy, even if he's a good guy, at quarterback. And that's what I feel they have. You can be mad. That's that. What? So it would appear that your boy Nick Wright, or as I like to call him now, Nick Clown, is a civilian his own down right because the tape that he just gave out that y'all just saw in that clip, um, man, I, I don't even know what to say about that. That was just dumb. This man had no explanation whatsoever why he feels Jared Goff is this quote unquote civilian as he states. Oh boy, this is what happens when you pay multi-million dollars, multiple millions of dollars to guys who don't know any more than your common civilian. And that's a word I'm going to continue to use uh, from here on out uh, throughout this video. It's not going to be a long one at all. Uh, this is going to be a quick response to some stupidity that he just said. And I'm glad my man's after him put him in check. I didn't record it because I don't know his spot stuff. I don't want to get... Flat, I hope it don't get flat uh, for this video. So I'm trying to do some extensive editing. But man, Nick Wright is an idiot. You no, know, he said the Bears, Super Bowl, contender stuff. And now you come saying something like this. So you, instead of just giving the Lions credit as the best team in the NFC, you start regurgitating back to this BS quarterback take about how, and let's just, let's just keep it real what it's about. It's about how much sex appeal a quarterback has. Because Jared Goff is not this mobile guy like Jay Herb, he's not, you know, a gunslinger type of quarterback that's going to, you know, rank it all day like Josh Allen and Jay Herbo do and all that stuff like that. So that's, it's the common case of it. That's, why don't you just come out and say it? That's the reason why, you know what I'm saying, why you say what you said. It's all because of that. If he was Joe Burrow, uh, freaking, you know, Jason, Justin Herbert and, you know, Pat Mahomes, if he was that type of style, you wouldn't be saying this right now. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole reason why he said Then you turn around and say the entire NFC, for the most part, maybe with the session of Stafford, give or take, that, oh, it's full of civilians. So what's the point of trying to call him a civilian person? Then? Why would you say that? That made no sense. He's one of the few quarterbacks in the entire NFC that's actually touched the Super Bowl. In his first three years of his career, he's touched two. In, he's touched the Super Bowl. He's won playoff games, and he's touched two NFC Championship games between two franchises. Won one, lost one. You ain't doing that as a, a, a you know a freaking civilian, as you again to quote him. With the, the whole reason is you just don't like Jared Goff. You are still holding the Super Bowl against him. You know, yeah, it was criticism that may have been deserved, but maybe we but we shut that down since then to just he wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, forget the numbers he's put up. Forget the statistics he's having this year. All that's irrelevant. The reason why this man is not a civilian is simply because of this. 
most quarterbacks, and I don't care how mobile you are or not, you need to be protected when you play out there or you're going to get killed. When you have cultivated enough winning, yeah, you find a way to pay, uh, play past certain problems like that. You know, you see what the Chiefs, where Mahomes has been ugly this year, but they're still winning despite not having the most natural talent per uh, per player. They're not the most talented team, but they find a way to win because that culture is there. And that's what Dan Campbell has built for Jared Goff. You know what I'm saying, man? And at the end of the day, I'm seeing the decisions he's making. And I, not, not uh, back Goff up too on this. I feel him that he was telling the truth when he said against the Texans that he felt like you know, he wasn't personally playing that bad. You know, because those interceptions, down there all five of them were debatable. You can, a lot of them were his fault. You can debate all of them down there that were his fault. It happened, it happened, but that don't mean like he was just throwing off target. There was guys not turning around for the ball. So it was stuff happening. And he still led his team down there to win. It wasn't like the run game solely won it for him and that was it. He still made passes that was clutch and hit his targets. They got back to bases. They did this as a team. You don't win Super Bowls nine times out of ten due to solely the quarterback himself. I've been saying this for years. It takes a full team to do it. He's responsible for help leading you there. It is so hard to get to the Super Bowl and win it, bro. You have to be in a situation where you're going to have the biggest opportunities. And he's took a team for the first time in 30 years, six months before I was born, to not only get their first divisional title, but also get two playoff wins. What this franchise haven't seen in 30 plus years, and you call him a civilian, and you didn't give him any reason outside of the common, usual Jared Goff criticism. That is so bizarre that you can get paid millions of dollars to make comments like that and then contradict yourself, spin around the whole topic, and make no sense. I wish I could have recorded the other part where my man was debating him on why he was wrong because he just broke it down so simple. And it's just where you just go throw out the fact how they built out built the team around this dude's skill set and you just make dumb comments like that. See, this is why I tell people quit listening to media outlets like this because you got guys like Nick Wright who don't know how to do it. And I'm a guy who's criticized golf fairly and understandably fair in the past. But I never once called him a civilian. No, never been that. He's way better than a civilian. No, Nick Wright is a goddamn civilian. This dude literally just opened his mouth and said a bunch of nothing, bro. And you sit here and have the audacity to not explain no common evidence. You didn't give nothing. No statement that made any sense. Outside the typical, he's not, let's just be real, he's not Mahomes, Josh Allen type crap in the whole Super Bowl thing. You still stuck on it. That's what it all draws back to it. Dude, just, just admit you don't like the Lions and just admit you you praying on a downfall. It's just that simple. You a clown, bro. That's all you just admit you a clown, man. You a freaking clown. You know, so this is gonna tie it to my next video, man. And, and, and that's what I said, man. I don't have to use statistics in order to defend why golf is a better quarterback than people that think and why he's better. It's more to the protection, okay? It's like what y'all want to do? Have Detroit Lions quarterbacts play with no O line and force wins or something? Because guess guarantee, yeah, Mahomes is taking some beatings, but he still had protection over the last few years, man, to get to that Super Bowl. It wasn't like he was just by himself out there. Okay, let's be real here. Okay, let's just be real. I mean, golf has been out playing them. You know what I'm saying? Doing stuff they haven't been doing. So, you know what? Hey, he's showing me based, based off reading coverages and reading, you know, stuff like this. All this was said. In fact, if you want to know everything, why I feel like golf has been elite this year and why I feel like he should be an MVP, not only a candidate, but should win it. I got a video I made recently that's go appear up on the screen so make sure y'all go check that out if you want to hear some real content on why i feel about jared golf versus this clown nick right uh like comment subscribe man hit the notification bell man shout out to everybody don't listen to nick right don't listen to nick the clown don't do it it's not good peace out